While the trillion dollar infrastructure bill is really the lone accomplishment that President Biden has to tout this far in his administration, you know, local leaders hoping for commitments from Biden on desperately needed projects around the area during his visit tomorrow. Yeah, our Brandon Thompson continues our team coverage live near the interstate bridge tonight, digging deeper into what projects are needed in our area. Brandon? And yeah, we know the big one. It's this one, right? The I-5 bridge replacement. And that's estimated to cost over $4 billion. So it's going to need some federal investment. But first, there needs to be a design agreed upon first. Pulling the president's ear. The I-5 bridge replacement project absolutely needs federal investment. And half the bridge is 105 years old. The other half, 64 years old. And the way it was built means all of it is at risk of collapsing during an earthquake. The replacements cost an estimated $4.5 billion. I think the federal government has responsibility to the lion's share portion of this bridge. Both states should pay a billion dollars each with Washington committing their half already. Concepts of the replacement have been released, but there's no design that has been decided on. And before this community is put on the hook for a lot of money, um, I want to know that the bridge design is going to meet our needs in our pocketbooks. You know, part of that means don't make the mistakes of the last that doomed the last project. That's the light rail portion of the project. Herrera Butler reminds that Washington voters have shot down that idea several times, but Peterson believes now there's too much at stake. I think both sides of the river have a respect and empathy to the different challenges that each side of our region face in a way that maybe we did not have before. So I am optimistic. ODOT estimates $188 million of goods flows on I-5 every day, but an average of 10 hours of congestion every day is costing shippers and consumers over a million dollars, problems that can be brought to the president. It can help bring everybody together and just focus that light on those issues and build relationships so that when uh, we need to pick up the phone and say, we're ready to move on a project. We know that we'll have the Biden administration behind us. And it's still unclear when Oregon will pony up its chunk of the money. But even with that, there's still $2 billion of this project that needs to be funded. Reporting live near the I-5 bridge, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News. Brandon, thanks.